All right, guys, so I got a new video for you guys. It's going to be the second half of that one um, pick that I did a couple weeks ago. Uh, I guess about a week and a half ago or so now. And this portion is going to be all the jewelry that uh, that lady had. Um, it wasn't a whole lot, but uh, a little box full of it. And, uh, of course, there was some coins and other stuff in the other little box. But as an added bonus for y'all waiting and making y'all wait for the second half of that first video, um, in between last week and this today when I'm doing this, uh, we actually got a Facebook lead for some lady who's selling a bunch of stuff, who's moving out, and... I spent all my money on the jewelry, so let me show you a real quick glance of the stuff that we got. All right, so here's all that jewelry that we picked up from the second lady. We spent 240 bucks in jewelry at this one location. So that's gonna be coming up right after we do this first half. And I had already gone through this second lot and took out a few things that looked like they were gold, looked like they were silver, and they checked out to be good. So it wasn't a lot, but you never know. I mean, every time you buy big lots like this, there's always a chance to find a thing here and there that might be gold or silver. So that's why we buy in bulk and buy all of it instead of going piece by piece. Because at the end of the day, you're going to make your money way back on, on the stuff pretty easily, especially when you get it for as cheap as we did. All right, so looking here, we're going to start off with this box first. And I tell you right now, guys, we kind of looked through this already as far as a quick glance. Uh, those are a few good things in here. That's a nice piece right there. It looks like it's vintage. It's basically a little brooch with some matching earrings. Got this real nice uh, rose design there. Doesn't look to be gold. I'll take it off here and see if there's any stamps on it. But from the first look, I'm going to say no, it's not. But nice piece either way. There was a couple little things like this. I don't think these are pearls. They look like some kind of bead or I don't know. But uh, it's a nice piece. And uh, let me see, I have this right here to so help me out. This is where Iris displays her pieces when she's going to list it on Mercari. And if you're not following Iris from Mercari, get on Mercari.com or get the app. And if you look up hashtag Texan Picker, all one word, you'll find all of her listings. And uh, you'll be able to shop from her. She's already had a few people uh, get in contact with her and bought a few things. Uh, if you bundle up, she will obviously... You know, give you a little bit better deal and mention that you're that you're from our page and we'll definitely do that. Plus, um, when you buy multiple things, you save on shipping and uh, and all that good stuff. So here is this ring. I don't even see this ring. Looks like it's... Looks like it's silver. Yeah, there's some markings on the inside. It says... Looks like 925 silver in there. So, I'm going to take that out just because I want to keep that stuff separated. Uh, let's see what else do we have in here that was it a few different knives uh, they're in good condition I already picked these out to look at them they look good you have this pocket watch unfortunately it's not 14 karat gold it would have been really nice if it was what I'll end up doing is opening it up on the inside taking the looking at the movement because sometimes the pieces in the or they'll be marked on the inside if you don't see any markings on the outside, but I didn't see any markings and it doesn't really look as 14 karat gold. Got to the watch, UIT. This one here. This one actually, um, I didn't know the brand. But uh, let me see, there's a Seiko in here that I think said 14 karat gold. So you got this Seiko right here, and I want to say that the case. It's 14 karat. Yeah, I know it's hard to see. But up there at the top. Alright. Then you have another Seiko watch. This one's not gold. Um, but they're vintage. A bunch of Canadian coins. Oh no, these are from Costa Rica. Yeah, these are from Costa Rica. Uh, you get a bunch of older half dollars in here. If you look at these, there might be one that looks like it could be silver. This one right here, 1967. It's gonna be partially silver at least. But you can tell when you look at the edges here, how the um, the copper 
starts coming out in them. And um, I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not. But you see how that's that, that copper, that reddish rusty look to it? They all have it except for this last one here. So that's going to be a silver one there. And it just feels different. It feels heavier than the others. Yeah. We got a bunch of nickels, some old nickels. There's another cool knife that we picked up. Flips open like that. I never seen one. Of, I never seen one of the old ones that do that. Usually they're like um, the, the butterfly knives or the the switch blades that you know pop up, but the little trigger it's got a lock in it. It's actually kind of nice. And for this box, that's really gonna be it. We have this chain here. It's 14 karat gold. I mean, I'm sorry, 18 karat gold filled. It's not solid gold, so it's not. I'm, I'm thinking it might have gone with the with that pocket watch. There was something else over here. Oh yeah, I did take this out already because I was looking through the stuff earlier and there was a little gold chain. It was actually this little gold chain right here. Y'all see that? Let me get it bunched up in my hand here. 14 karat little gold chain, little box chain. Not that heavy, but that was one of the finds I was in there. Let's see. We went through that already. Put it back in here. Let's go through some of this jewelry. So all this stuff came together. And I already took some of the stuff apart just to kind of make it easy for me to start videotaping. That's cool little costume jewelry here. That's a nice little ring. There's a couple of lighters. Some of these could be worth some money. Carlton. This guy here. I might need some more fluid or something. That's a little chain. A lot of this, you know, obvious, obvious uh, costume cheap jewelry. But this nice little brooch there. Some beads. More pocket watches. I'm mean, sorry, not pocket watches, but lighters. Yeah, this nice little pendant here. Let's have a little owl. So cute. Some brooches, I'm going to show you here. I'll try to get them all to you so you can see them all. That guy there. Now this one here. Looks like it's some kind of flower or an apple. <laughs> I can't tell. Might be an apple. This little chain here. And this guy here. I'm going to have to look at this one. In this case, it's silver. Then we have this bracelet, which is kind of nice. It's got some Canadian coins and some like Canadian shields, I guess. Real nice looking. Cheapy little. It says V. O F B Company. So I don't know what O F B Company stands for. Pendant OFB. So I'll look that up, see what that means. The little brooch. This big old dude right here. Um it's a cute little uh cameo in a clear glass with a silver setting. There was a chain. Oh yeah, see here's the stuff that I went through. In here there was a little cross or something that was silver yeah this guy here that was silver so i took that to the side um this looked like it was real but it was not i tested it already but um nice looking bracelet it's by napier or, or how do you pronounce that and there's a couple of the pieces over here that i'm going to take a look at to see if they're gold um i didn't get a chance to check them out yet and to see if these are silver so i know this is silver for sure this little cross but i uh, need to take a look at this stuff right here Oh, and also there was this little set of earrings that say 14 karat plum gold. Uh, plum gold still 14 karat gold. So that's that. And what else? Let's see. Let's move this box over here. Some more brooches. It's a real pretty one there. This one has the matching earrings. You can see. 
earrings there more gold field earrings most of these are going to be um, the clip-ons but real nice pieces either way you can see these are look pretty Of course, if I see anything that just kind of stands out, looks different, I'll uh, I'll take them out and test them out just to make sure. That's all that, and the last little bit is going to be this here. This is a nice necklace. Let me show it to you. you see that? Really pretty necklace. I'm not sure if this one will go to the booth or she'll sell that online, but if you see anything that you want, um, send me a message. If you guys will go to thetexanpicker.com, uh, there's a way to message me directly there, and I'll get the messages pretty quickly, and I can respond to them pretty fast. So if you see something that you like, or if you have a question about something, feel free to email me there, and then I'll get back to you, texanpicker.com. All right, and the rest of this stuff here, like this is a little silver ring. Um, nothing too fancy. I'm pretty sure it's silver. Looks like an eye. This one here is silver with a little turquoise in it, but it looks like it broke. It looks like a bunch of break there too. Yeah, it's broken right there too. This guy here is real pretty. It doesn't say nothing on the inside, but a lot I like the way that stone just kind of shimmers. And this one right here was definitely silver. And nothing. All this is just a bunch of beads. Little chibi, little stuff. Nothing, nothing to get too excited about. You can see, there's that one. I'll put that up here on the side. All right, so that's that. All right, so now moving on to this other stuff. I'm gonna wheel myself over here, and I'm not gonna be able to really go too much in detail of everything because it's just so much. But um, it is mostly. 99.9% was all just, you know, your costume jewelry. Uh, some of this still has the tag from Steve Madden, Nine West, New York, whatever. Um, but when you buy in volume like this, they'll they'll tend to sell. Um, one of the things that I liked the most was we she had a bunch of rings, a bunch of rings in uh, in that thing, and we have to look because we got a competitor next to our booth that sells a lot of real pretty jewelry. And she has it staged real nice, so I'm about to go up to the booth and kind of rearrange some stuff and get stuff uh, labeled. And uh, I want to say competitive what she's got. Now uh, she's got some real nice silver pieces, but she also has a lot of costume jewelry, like what I'm about to show you right now. And I want to get them priced to where they're right around her price range, if not a little bit less, uh, just so that we can get these things sold. So my first initial number that I thought for like these rings was five bucks but iris said that she thinks that the lady has them for like eight to ten dollars so we might bump it up six to seven dollars around there just to get them more enticed to buy ours you know while while you know while we have them out here so i do want to show you a couple things um in that lot there were a few rings that were noteworthy let me show you here this one here is i'm gonna show you is a silver ring uh they're not diamonds but that ring was silver it looks really pretty. There's that one. There's this ring right here. And they're measuring about seven and a half. Most of these rings are seven, seven and a half around that range. And makes Irish side because they all fit her perfect. There was this gold ring. This one was a gold ring. It's a very, very small, very, very tiny 10 karat gold ring. And it's got a little bitty bitty speck of a diamond right there. I did test it. It did test positive for a diamond. So 10 karat ring right there. I'm added to my stack. This is my stack of gold that I found or picked up at garage sales over the last year and a half or two. Um, right, right now I used to give everything and sell it, get everything and sell it, but uh, right now I'm holding on to it because I think I well, better just hold on to it right now. This one here. It's a really pretty ring. It is silver. That measures about six or so, but it's a wide ring. 
got that hammered finish to it. Uh, it's stamped uh, sterling or silver and is made in Jerusalem. So that's a real pretty ring right there. This necklace was in that same lot. Um, I tested the stones are not diamonds, but the heart pendant itself is silver and the chain itself is silver. So that's a good score. And I did find this one earring that is silver. I'm hoping to find the other one in there. We didn't get to really search through it as good as I like. We just kind of, you know, brushed through it really quick as I was uh, getting stuff ready. And these last two rings I'm going to show you. Oh, man, I got excited because I thought they might be gold and that they might be real stones. But I diamond tested them. They're not real. Um, the stones are probably all lab created and it's 18 karat gold filled. It's not solid gold. Still a pretty ring. Two rings. But unfortunately, they weren't real. These would have been some good scores if they were. And like I said, they were just tossed in, in the middle of all that jewelry right there. So that's the fun part of buying in, in bulk. If you guys do that like I do, instead of kind of picking out a couple things here and there, they'll charge you more if you do that versus just buying everything. Like I said, for all this right here, you got this basket. I think Iris counted these out, and I want to say she said there's about 200 rings in here. And that uh, even if we did the minimum of $5 a ring, I mean, guys, you can do the math right there pretty easily. That's going to be, you know, $200 or $5 ring. That's a pretty score. So I probably picked up the most unattractive basic ring. But you guys, something like that. I'm just going to put them on here real quick. This guy's getting an idea. See that? I think someone would pay five dollars all day for something like that. And then you got some really, really nice ones that are a little more ornate. So I could probably charge maybe eight to ten dollars. You see that? It's such a pretty ring. You see how it sparkles like that? Now these aren't diamonds, obviously, but uh, go pretty ring nonetheless. Let's see. We're just going blindly here. Oh, look at that butterfly ring. So, we're thinking five, eight bucks for some of the basic ones. And then you got some like this that have that turquoise stone. I don't think they're, they might know if they're genuine turquoise or not. It looks like they might be, that one could probably get a little bit more, 10 to $12 maybe. It'd be nice if they were silver, but unfortunately they're not. Let me see. Let me show you some of the designer type of wedding rings. Look at that. Look at that sparkle. Okay, so looks nice. Like that one. Another one. And from what I could tell, I don't think any of them were the same. There might have been a bunch of them that are similar, but I really didn't see anything that was uh, duplicated, duplicated in here. Look at this pretty ring. Let's see, I have to check that one. That looks like it could be silver. If that was like a moonstone in there. This is kind of a little basic ring, a little $5 ring. Like I said, some of these are really ornate. Look like a fancy engagement ring. Show you a couple more. This is a nice little knot ring. Like a rope knot. And she got you tied down. Look at this one. With the horse on it. That's pretty good. As you can see guys, we got a lot to go through. Look at that one pretty a lot a lot to go through if it's five dollars ring minimum 200 rings a thousand bucks right there with 200 260 dollar investment is not a bad deal and over here you got a bunch of bracelets i mean just a whole ton of them iris likes this one this one feels nice it feels rich it feels you know like good quality That cuff bracelet is nice. Gypsy cowgirl. And if they're branded, they'll get a little bit more, you know, just because they are branded. But that's a pretty one right there. And 
we didn't count the bracelets. Oh, this is a cowboy theme one. You got the cowboy hats with little stones. That's kind of nice. You see, stuff like this will get listed up real, real early because it got the rodeo right around the corner. Prosperity, family, serenity, health, memories. That's a nice bracelet. Kind of give you an idea. Look at this guy. This is chunky right here. There's someone out there's going to want it. They're going to see it. They're going to scoop it up and buy it. Look at this guy here. This one's really heavy. So let's kind of give an idea. This one says, compare at $58, our price $19.99. One wink. But if I put eight bucks on it, you know, look at that. Sparkly, sparkly. And there's just so many in here. There's a lot of that, that Fleur de Lis, or however you pronounce, however you pronounce that. There's a lot of those in there as well. Which is a really popular design. No cup bracelet. That's a pretty one right there too. That's a real nice one actually. Is that branded? No, it's not. Oh. There's just so much to go through, guys. So much. Y'all keep an eye on Iris's Mercari. I'm gonna put it up here again. Just search Texan Picker. Hashtag Texan Picker. And uh, you'll be able to find all my all of her listings. So that's that. Let me get some stuff organized here and we'll finish up with this other one here just now. Alright, so here's another little box full of jewelry again. Stuff like this. These rings. Now they've got them here for originally 29 bucks. Compare it thirteen dollars, so I think my little, you know, five to ten dollar range is going to work out just good. Oh, that was—is that gold? No, it's not gold. And I, like I said, uh, we we combed through these really quickly, um, and we did find a few. Like I said, we found a few things that looked pretty good. Look at that. These are nice. That's another nice one right there. I'm not going to be able to pull all these out just because uh, Geneva, just because a lot of this stuff is real tangled up. Is this silver? No, Lucky Brand. But see, it's a nice bracelet. I have to keep an eye out on these earrings because some of these earrings can be silver or gold. Huh. A rhinestone. The bracelet looks broken. That looks to be fake more bracelets what do y'all think guys I mean this is a it's a pretty good score I think hope y'all liking it so far just cause I mean sometimes you get lucky and you you know you can find a few things and you score real big but sometimes you gotta you know knock it out like this where it's a lot of little things but at the end of the day you know you still make some money it says something on there, but I can't read it. Nola? Oh, it might be from New Orleans. I don't know. I'm not going to be able to pull that out. Oh, look at that. Here. Little thing for you here. Another watch. Another K. Earring? That's pretty nice. These bracelets always sell. There's a bunch of just little things in here. There's that box. All right, let's look at another box. This one here looks nice. And now here, there's some other pieces. Look at this big old necklace, big old butter butterfly or moth-looking thing. Things humongous. We got that. Another slide for. Real big statement piece. You got these. That's a pretty piece of that. Let's go put that on my arm so you can see it. And what do they have it priced at? Compare at 38 on something 15. That one. 
little elephant. <laughs> These are the ones that I like to find. They're real cute. Little necklace. More bracelet, Native American theme. Nice cross. Another ring. Crown little pin. No pendant. Money clip. The safest way to double your money is to fold it over and put it in your pocket. Well, that's one way of looking at things. Look at that. That's a beautiful brooch there. It is Tafari. And it's got the little stone in there. So this is a nice one right here. Tafari. Trifari, however you say it. Is that what it says? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, necklaces. I don't know. What the hell is this looking at? Just a lot bigger. Bracelet and just so it's a lot of stuff. Yep. Let's keep moving. Go on to another one. Let's see what this one has. I don't even think I looked at this one. A bunch of watches. They're probably all little cheapos. Geneva. What is this one? D and D fossil. That's actually a decent watch. Ralph, Lauren or Polo, whatever. Scorpio little earrings. Silver made in China. Earrings Express. Another cheap watch. So, this one looks like it has a bunch of earrings. Let's see, like this one here. Oh, here's that other earring. Those are in that other box. This looks like this all went together to a bracelet or something. Charms. I still do. Oh, okay, those are cute little charms. Let's see what kind of bracelet goes to. What else? No bracelet from Yuri. Okay. Big old statement piece. Wow. That's something that'll show nice at the booth. Put it on the neck by itself. That'll look good. And that's, I mean, there's more in here guys, but you know, Native American themes, these are nice. People buy those. It's just hard to find everything like this. It's just too much. Okay, next one we're gonna go with is this box here. And this is a lot of the same Orion. This is a pretty necklace, so. Yeah, Friends. It's got a ring in there. Let's check out the ring. No. Nothing in there, but it's a pretty ring. That's a pretty piece of it too. Okay. A little eye catching, to say the least. But that's pretty. So there's gonna be a lot of good stuff going up here, guys. What, is, what brand is this? White House Black Market. So I bet you anything someone paid 30 bucks for this thing. It's heavy. It's heavy too. 
this. Okay. It's like a little keychain or something. That's really it. Let me look at this guy here. That little charm. I'm missing a little stone though. There's just a bunch of little pendants and earrings. And stuff down here that I'm going to really, really take my time. Ralph Lauren. Here. So. It's that box there. Oh my goodness. That's not jewelry. She also gave us all these like empty empty boxes. You know what? I doubt it. But yeah. Maybe I'm pretty sure these are all empty. James Avery. But, you know, that's because I do pick up James Avery stuff. It's nice to have the boxes. Whenever you sell it, it adds value to it whenever you try to sell it online. The little bags. Yeah, if one looks like they're all empty. Um, I'm going to go through these real quick. I'm not going to spend too much time on these. Just because, uh, you see, when we first got here, let me show y'all something. When we first got to that house, this is the, what she started. She started counting out each one of these earrings. And she wanted to charge three bucks an earring. And, I mean, when you try to, you know, do per item on all this stuff, she kind of just said, you know what, never mind. Let's just figure out a bolt deal, which was better for me because she was like, I don't know. She was she was already like, a, I don't know how much this was right here. It was a lot because she was charging $3 a piece. But she said these were nicer, but I mean, these are, you know, $5 earrings. You know, they're not really expensive. I don't Silver Strike, they're not real silver. Express. I didn't really see anything when she was going through this. It was like, yeah, these are all you know worth paying up for. Now, if you're buying it for yourself, you know, yeah, of course, three bucks is a great deal. But um, you know, most of these are have like a eight to ten dollar price tag on it. You know, which means that if I put it in the booth, I'm gonna try to get five bucks, you know, six bucks. Robert Morris. These say 45. Soho. So these might be worth a little bit more. But you guys can see. That's what we got in here. But yeah, at three dollars a ring uh, a pair, I was like, no, nah, we're probably not gonna be coming up on a <laughs> on a deal. And uh, I think she she felt that, so chaps. Francesca, little boots, alright, and let's look at this last little box real quick, and I think these are all earrings, oh yeah, those are watch box, nothing fancy, just a little cheap old little watch, Put that guy there, and earrings, Gypsy Soul, Free Spirit, Little Native American ish. Free Spirit. They're all in baggies. Little earrings, butterflies. So. Yeah, that's it. So we got a lot to go through, guys, as you can tell. You can tell. I mean, it was just incredible all the stuff that we were able to buy for 260. Yeah, 260. And we picked all of this stuff. I think it was a good deal. Considering that um, you know these uh these rings alone are gonna bring in way more money back than what we invested. So but it takes time. You know, it does take a lot of time to do it. So some people say, oh, you could have given more money. Well, I have to buy all the tags to put on here. I have to go and write each single tag on there. I've got to display them. I pay the booth rent. 
I got to count for people running off of some of this stuff. I mean, there's, I mean, there's theft out there. You're just not going to be able to avoid it. So you're going to have some loss on that point. So, you know, when you buy in bulk like this, the advantage is to us, the buyers, because we're buying it all to get it at a cheap price, but it also benefits the seller because they ended up getting rid of all of it. And, um, she had a bunch of shoes. If I was into shoes and purses and stuff like that, I probably would have spent more money, but she just had a ton of shoes, a ton of purses, a ton of clothes. Um, she, I don't know if she was a hoarder. No, she actually said she had a boutique shop. shop. That's what it was. She had a boutique shop and she sold this kind of stuff and she closed it down. She had to take care of her mom, her dad or something like that. Uh, long story short, she had to get out of it. She's moving her to a new house and she just wanted to get rid of it. So we came in and helped her out. Well guys, that was a small sample size of uh, everything that we got. I tried to go through as much of the stuff so you guys could get a good idea, but it's just impossible to go through each item. Uh, it's, just, it's, just, it's just way too much. Like I said, there was about, what we say, about 200 rings by themselves, not including the hundreds of bracelets, hundreds of earrings, and all the necklaces. So I think we did good. 260 bucks, not a bad score. Plus we found a couple of gold pieces we found a couple of silver pieces so all that adds up and all that ends up being just you know just the cherry on top so very fortunate to get those uh calls very fortunate to get those contacts and i'm thankful for those here at the uh at the antique mall who uh, send us their way because i mean they they, they always give us a shout whenever someone comes by and they're trying to get rid of all the stuff so uh thanks for them so now we're gonna do the drawing for the purse, which I almost forgot to just right now. So I'm gonna go back to the computer, get the drawing done, and uh, we'll be here with the winner here shortly. All right, so now the winner for, y'all remember that guy? It's a nice floor pattern, uh, BB purse, baby purse, what have you. Pretty good size, you can see that. And that's in really good condition. So uh, good luck to the winner, here we go. All right, you know the drill. We're gonna go to the video, it was this one here. We will get the link. Go to the random comment picker thingy. We're gonna paste there. Anything goes, we're gonna go with keyword filter. Keyword filter was BB. Allow duplicates. It was rock and roll. There's 336 comments, potential winners. So let's see who won. And the winner is Marcy Ruiz. Marcy Ruiz, thank you so much. Congratulations on winning. Just go to texanpicker.com, message me through there, and then let me know that you're the one who won. I'm gonna leave a comment on your comment, reply it. Plus I'm gonna pin your name here. So congratulations, Marcy. And uh, thanks for watching. All right, so there you have it. Congratulations to the winner. I'll leave a comment in this video. I'll try to pin it to the top and I'll try to find your original comment and, and reply to that. So if you get the, the reply, you see the pinned comment to this video, uh, go to texanpicker.com, email me there, and uh, I'll give you the instruction on how to get this purse absolutely free, no cost for shipping or none of that. So congratulations to the winner. Hope you guys enjoy it. And we'll end with this one. Uh, Father, I just want to thank you, Lord, for just your many blessings. Thank you for just impacting our lives with your with your love, well, with your with your mercy, uh, with your forgiveness, and with the gift of salvation through your Son Jesus Christ. Uh, Father, I just want to ask that you would touch the lives of those who are watching, that uh, you would plant a seed in their heart, that they would want to get to know you better and have a relationship through Christ with you. And um, Father, for those who are just hurting now for those who are sick, for those who are just dealing with the different things, Father, that you would just put your hands of healing over their hearts, over their mind, over their spirit, Lord, and that you would relieve them of any pain and uh, any hurt, any despair, Father, that they're feeling right now, and you replace it with the love and the mercy and the peacefulness that comes through a relationship with you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit a like. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe and all that good stuff. If you haven't already, you've already made it through the video, hit subscribe if you like these videos. I know you do. And like I said, go to Mercari, and uh, you'll find Iris' listings there. Uh, let her know you're a fan from the Texas Pickers channel, and uh, she'll hook you up with a little something, so don't forget to do that. And if you see anything in the video that you like, or have questions or anything, go to texanpicker.com. You can message me directly through that channel, and um, I'll get to you as soon as I can. With that being said, guys, thanks so much for watching. Peace, love you, God bless. See ya.